Well, we've got our usual club meeting with the uh, display of bikes that we have in the, in the car park every now and then. And the first one we've got tonight belongs to Bernie. And uh, it looks a pretty rare jigger, and it's got the magic name Rickman. Yeah. So uh, could you just give us a little bit of a rundown on it, Bernie? Well, for those that are around in the 70s, uh, this was the bike to beat in Victoria. Most people had to try and beat it. Uh, it was uh, Peter Allen, mm -hmm. Frank Musset's son-in-law. So it was a triple that, uh, that Frank built. He had two, uh, a twin that Carl Morling rode and this one that Peter Allen rode. It's the actual bike. And it's uh, Frank built it up, and I raced for Frank for many years, and uh, like he was a dear friend in the end. And so when it came up for sale via one of my reps, uh, I bought it. Good. And Frank was alive still when I bought it, so he was really chuffed. Now Peter went on to, to drag racing. He did. Oh, well, he actually came here as a drag racer. He, he came out. Uh, he married Frank's daughter, and he was actually racing a twin engine Triumph. Oh, so I guess he had to go and see the Triumph distributor to keep two oh, engines going. Yeah. But Peter married uh, Sylvie, and unfortunately she passed away. But uh, he he did race. Uh, he won the Harvey Wilshire, uh, won at Phillip Island. It was it was the bike to beat at the time. So this has got a pretty good racing history. It definitely it? has. And in fact, I've got a, a magazine here that I've just presented, Derek, and he tested it in 1972. So 46 years ago, there's sure. photos of him as a young bloke. He must have been very young. <laughs> he was very young, and uh, he's sitting on the bike, and uh, Pommy Pete showing him how to do whatever, and they rode it around Calder. Still, when you talk about 47 years, we probably know each other. <laughs> that. Anyway, true, it, goes, true, it goes so quickly. True. No, it's a it's a really nice jigger, and the and the motor obviously is very uh, very hot. Well, well it, it's not probably as, as hot as when Frank had it, because he did run it on alcohol, um, yeah. and he sold it with the factory cam. Uh, didn't sell it with the factory cams. He wouldn't let anyone have them. So he, I've got letters there from the factory telling Frank what to do to it by the factory. So it's pretty special, and people like Phil Pilgrim and Derek and that they know it intimately. Well, uh, one thing about Frank, he was a pretty cunning old boy. Like he was. Like he, he was, and he was from the old school too. Everything had to be light and big. So the porch would break through the hair, yeah, the oil waves, yeah, and the crank. I had to get rid of the original crank; it was too light. And so, but that was Frank. But if it finally worked, they didn't tell anybody what they'd done. Oh, Frank wouldn't tell anybody. <laughs> right. never, never did. You Leave couldn't it even go in the workshop when yeah. him and uh, Peter were working on it. Anyway, Bernie, it's, it's great to see Thanks it here so. tonight because I think it's a fantastic machine and it's it's a representative of an era that's important. We still see. Yeah, it, you know, that's true. That's why I like it. It's a special bike, and uh, unfortunately we can't start it tonight, but it does sound good. Thanks, Thanks so much, Ray. Thanks, David.